Let's begin this lesson with a look at a common single player game called Eight Puzzle. Eight Puzzle is a sliding tile game. The game board is a three by three square with numbered tiles in all but one of the cells. The state of the game is modified by sliding numbered tiles into the empty space from adjacent cells, thus moving the empty space to a new location. Uh, there are four possible moves. In at most four possible moves. Moving the empty space up, down, left, or right. Obviously not all these moves are possible in all states. States shown on the left and right here illustrate the possible moves from the state shown in the center. The tile can be moved down, the em sorry, the empty cell can be moved down, the empty cell can be moved to the right. The ultimate objective of the game is to place the tiles in order and position the empty square in the lower right cell as shown here. Uh, the game terminates after eight moves or when all of the tiles are in their right positions, whichever comes first. In some versions of the game, partial credit is given for states that approximate the ultimate goal, with 10 points being allocated for each numbered tile in the correct position, and 20 points being allocated for having the empty tile in the correct position. For example, the first state shown here is worth 40 points since four of the cells, the ones colored green, um, are in their correct positions. And the uh, second state shown here is worth 100 points since all of the tiles are in their correct positions and the empty cell is in the lower right hand corner. Now as with other games, it's possible to describe eight puzzle in GDL. Here are the rules for three puzzle. It's a version of eight puzzle on a two by two board. Uh, without partial credit. The rules for eight puzzle with partial credit are, are very much the same, except they're a little more verbose and would not easily fit on a page. We won't go through the details of either rule set in this uh, lesson, but it may be worth your while to pause and look over the rules to be sure you understand them.